Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. Please subscribe, we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers by June. And today we are acting like we already hit 20,000 with this very special meal. Uh, it is a very special meal and it's worth celebrating today too. We hit 17,000 subscribers. Woo! So we, yay! yay! Oh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, I feel like we were in the 16,000 forever. Oh, wow. yeah. um, today we are having Japanese A5 Wagyu steak. It's specifically the prime rib cut. Oh, okay. Ribeye. Ribeye rib cut. Ribeye rib cut. Rib yeah, cut. I see. Now you're speaking my language. But A5, I'm like, I know A1 sauce, but <laughs> A5 is like, that seems like very fancy. Well, remember in Japan that each time we had for Japanese barbecue, uh, we made sure that we got at least an order of the A5 meat. And we never regretted any single time we no. did that. No. And it's really rare to have A5 meat here in America. So only a certain um, meat shops get their shipments here and there. Is that why it's $99 a pound? It is $99 a pound, which com I did some uh, comparison with other online meat shops. Oh wow. And our local one was a little bit cheaper than the uh, online shops. Got it. So today we are having a red wine is it pinot no, no it's a combination of a cabernet merlot petit verdo and cabernet franc so there's oh, both awesome. kind of cabernet grapes cabernet sauvignon and cabernet franc i always forget that those are the names of the grapes this one is called swell from pally wine Let's and see how swell we, it is we actually like this one glass for you i feel very fancy for a wednesday night even though I'm wearing a t-shirt and a backwards cap. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that is good. Those that is Cabernet good. Sauvignon grapes are good. Mm, Sauvignon Franc? Yeah. It's inspired by Japanese sides. Yeah. I felt yeah. like you were on, um, let's see, what is it called? Iron Chef, and they said, category is Japanese. So you gotta <laughs> turn everything into Japanese. So we have a Japanese style green beans and spinach with some miso dressing. Okay. And uh, mashed potato, but we added wasabi and nori flakes, seaweed flakes. I, like, I, I kind of like how it's like that light green, but still palatable. It looks I, beautiful. I added stuff. some beef juice from the steak oh, to hey, kind of brown juice. it up a little bit. Oh, okay. yeah. Gosh, okay. you and really want to win. Either we each like cut our own, or James suggested, why don't I just cut a batch at a time, yeah, and then we could just eat from the board, mm. yeah, and half for it. Oh my gosh! Oh, you didn't even have to put any pressure. It's like butter. Oh my gosh! It just, it feels like cutting to butter. Oh good. We were kind of worried about having to really like. Have oh my to do gosh! That, oh, that wow. was so soft. Oh. Well, because in Japan it comes already sliced for you, so yeah. we didn't have to cut our meat. Oh, that's true. So I never got to cut A5 meat before. Mm. Does that mean there is A1, A2, A3, A4 meat? Yeah. Um, so in Japanese, but not all cows, but only certain breeds uh -huh. are um, ragu status. Mm. And depending on all these factors, like the marbling, the glistening, it's kind of like diamonds. You know how like the clarity and the shine oh, yeah. and brightness. Okay. And so kind of very similar. There's all these categories and um, depending on that, uh, they're given a letter score. So A, B, C, and then they're also given a number score, one through mm. five. So A5 oh, okay. is the top quality. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he is not even putting any no. pressure. It's almost like butter. It is. Try this? Yeah. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys can see up here, we have some stuff. <laughs> We're, yeah, um, so, we don't, we don't want A1 sauce, even though this is A5 steak. Uh, we don't want to eat it with, you know, ketchup or anything like that. Um, just straight up meat. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we just need a little bit of salt. So we have two kind of salts. Yeah. Oh, that's salt too? Yeah. One's oh. um, herb salt. So it's oh, very rosemary-like. Oh, okay. Herb salt. And the other, the white one is fleur de sel. Fleur de sel. Fleur is a French salt. It's really oh, okay. fancy. It sounds sexy. Some fancy salt. Okay. So I sprinkle some on you later. Look! Look at the color yeah, in the middle. I, I cut it. I cooked it perfectly. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh. You don't even need to chew. Where did it go? I don't need. I, I seasoned it well. I don't need salt with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow! Wow! It's a lot of beef flavor. 
Yeah. Um, I really appreciate how, I mean, when we took it out of the packaging earlier, you could really see all the marbling in the steak. And if you, there's a lot of marbling, that just means a lot of flavor. A lot that's of all I got. Yeah, you're right. We don't really need to. There's barely any chew to do. <laughs> that was good. My tongue is quivering. <laughs> this Oh here, here's a knife if you if, if I didn't cut out the way. That's okay, yeah. I can cut this one. I'm gonna mm. just take this bite first. Mmm. This is a nice treat. Okay, now I understand why the price point is the price point. Yeah. Are my eyebrows still on my face? <laughs> I just feel like it's like continuously going oh back. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You guys. This is something else. Yeah, I mean, I, I keep wanting to eat it. This is good. You always look at the diagonal when you drink and eat fancy food. Mmm. Mmm. We like to get our steak normally, either New York Strip or ribeye. Um, but we, we, we like to get prime. Grade, right? US, USD of prime, because might as well enjoy a good piece of meat. You can't compare prime with A5. Oh my god, yeah. It's, it's just night and day difference. Mmm. Mmm. How's the sides? Mm. This is a welcome addition because the A5 is, I'm not fat shaming it, but it's very fatty. Mm -hmm. So to have something like this really helps cut it. Try some of this. Potatoes, wasabi. wasabi potatoes. Oh, I think good. you won your episode. This is good. <laughs> I just, I feel like it's illegal to eat this. Like, this is so good. It's like decadent, decadent, decadent. Potatoes are good. We added some wasabi and nori flakes, that's it, and beef fat. Oh, maybe that's why it's so good, because we added the beef fat. <laughs> you know what happens when I have a good meal, right? What? I'm, like, I, I want to like, not only eat this, but eat you too, because it's just no, like. No, I'm not a five. It's like really good food and aphrodisiac. For some people, I'm sure. For me, it is, for sure. <laughs> huh. I am very curious about this herb. Yeah, one, let's though. try so it, yeah. try just a little bit. Oh, you could, I could already smell the thyme and rosemary. Mm. It's really good. Mm. It just depends if you want that extra hint of, mm. but you really don't need it. Like if you want that extra hint of Thanksgiving flavor. Yeah, <laughs> it, does, it does remind me <laughs> right? of Thanksgiving. So what's so special about the salt? Fleur de sel. Fleur de sel. Um, it's, like what I said, it's a French salt. Mm. And it's the way how they harvest the salt. So I don't know, but there's some kind of magical pond in France, somewhere in France, that is like salty. And then on like, I don't know, there's a part of the pond that um, evaporates trapped in water. So it's a natural evaporation process and the leftover crystals are the fleur de sel. Mm. Uh, so it comes in a little container, but it's around like, you know, 10 to $15 per container. So if you want to compare it to just regular table salt, it's probably like at least 10 times more expensive than just regular salt. And where, where did you buy it or where can you buy it? Uh, you could get it online. Okay. Um, but our local grocery stores had it, but Sprouts did not have it. Oh, okay. So only some stores have it. I do feel like I'm eating at a fine dining restaurant in Japan, no lie. The only thing that's missing are those like hot towels that I need for my hands at the very beginning. But aside from that, everything else is like pretty much the same. Mm. I was a skeptic, to be honest, when Mark initially pitched this idea for the mukbang. $200, we could like, I don't know. That's like two weeks of groceries. Um, our philosophy when it comes to food at least is we're open to trying it because we really that's how much we enjoy food yeah. right like I know you guys have seen us eat like green whoppers on this channel at the end of the day I think this is what really 
uh, binds us, bonds us together. Is well, the, we don't eat this every day, mm -hmm. so just once in a while, it's okay for us to splurge. We had an uncrustable on Monday, like yeah, you know, we could do whatever. Right. Okay, I know we still have a few pieces over here, but I I'm very curious about cutting it. So I need some guidance. <gasps> right? I don't think this is me. Did we get scammed? Like the way how it feels when you're cutting it is not what you expect. Huh? No, it's very, yeah. Okay, and then you did. And then the I other cut way? it the other way, yeah. Okay. Mind me if I elbow you in no, the face. No problem. When we did go to Japan, I was um, completely floored by our experience eating the beef there. I had, you know, every time people had talked about Japan, it's like, oh, you gotta try the ramen, you gotta try the sushi. No one really talked about the beef. No, and but then we, yeah. at a certain point, we were eating beef almost every day because we were like, this is amazing. I think our last meal might have been at a beef place. It was. Because you were was, like, we're about to hop on the plane and no, we need to get it for one last time. So I was like, okay. This is so decadent. Like next time, even if we just got one piece, oh, it yeah. would have been like, well, cause like in Japan, again, like what I said, they only give you like three pieces of this or something, right? Yeah. I feel a little spoiled because like, this is like the, all you can eat version of A5 meat. It's like, I feel like I could just keep eating and not have to feel like I have to stay. Oh my God, look, it's, it's like, we have so much left. Mm. Went back and forth on how we're going to eat this, right? Like how we're going to plate it. So one idea was each one of us would get a big plate of the sides and the meat already cut up. But we wanted to show like us cutting it on camera. I think that's a So we element. did we did kind of what like what would you like rustic style would you say? Mm -hmm. When we do any mukbangs, sometimes it's very like, let's just do this. This one I felt like we almost like I felt like we were at a magazine ad agency and we sat down and had to talk about the concept from beginning to end. So it was almost like, what shots do we need to get? How do we want to present the food? How do we make the food look the most tastiest it could possibly be? Like, it was very thought out, which is why I'm shocked we're not at 20,000 subscribers, <laughs> but that's just the wine talking, so. If you're enjoying this so much, should we bust out the chummy? There's chummy in this? No, I'm not. <laughs> you're kidding, right? You didn't put any chummy in the freezer. That was not discussed in that meeting. I Girl, think at this chummy point- Chummy is always ready for us. So it doesn't matter if we planned it or not. Once you say it- It comes out. It comes out. She's I'm always sorry. on standby. She is on standby, but it's hard for me to like think. I mean, it's a $5 bottle of soju with this meal. I'm sorry, you're not invited to the party. Well, We're elitist, blah, 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 blah. No, no. You, don't, you can't be here, sorry. No, but here's the thing, the mashed potato, you, the mashed potato that you love so much, it's the instant mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> we just, <laughs> serves you right. I thought we were gonna mention that. And now all of a sudden you're using it as ammunition against me. I might as well just chew with my mouth open. I've been trying really hard. I elevated it. By adding no one said wasabi you did and it. nori flakes and my own special seasoning. It's just we have potatoes and we're gonna make mashed potatoes from scratch. But reality, it's a lot. There's of work a lot of work. Add. I was doing this, this, this vegetable sides and the meat. Like it's just a lot of. So I just picked up. What's the Idaho brand? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it says it's 100% real Idaho potato flakes. You can't be mad at Chummy for what she is. I think chummy, in my personal opinion, would change the entire flavor profile of this meal. I don't think so. Yeah, it would. Might as well just slather some ethanol all over our $200 steak. <laughs> I'm not gonna allow that. I think if we really are gonna get a sponsorship, you just need to start your own channel. <laughs> oh, a chummy? Yeah, they're not, at this point, they're like, that guy is defaming us, he is not. But I think it's reverse psychology. Because a couple of people have told us they've tried it because I have such a negative reaction towards mm. it. So I'm helping from that front too. 
you know? And uh, we have our favorite local meat shop that carries A5 when, it's, when they have it on hand. I want to try making... Um, <gasps> I know what you're going to say. What? Those little sandwiches. Yes. I know. As soon as I saw this, it reminded me of it. Yeah. What are those called? I don't know. Um, uh, Kobe sandwiches? No. Yeah, it's called something. We ordered one time and it was like very cute and small, but it was like 50 bucks. We, Just for like and that small... was happy hour price. Yeah, and it was... Um, Think about those English tea parties and those cute cucumber sandwiches. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm just really blessed and I feel happy that I get to enjoy such a exquisite and delicate, you know, meal with you. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely a treat. Maybe this could just be our celebration for all the other things that we've had to kind of put on the back burner. Because May, April, and March, I said that backwards. <laughs> March, April, May, like all of those things that you would normally celebrate. It's actually a three-day weekend. And normally we will be excited for it, but Probably now it just town. feels like what day, what day of the week is it now? Like it's, it's the, I don't know, it's so different now. It's like, well, I feel like I just want to sit on a recliner chair right now and just kind of cross my legs sit back, enjoy my glass of wine because, and then just let my body digest what I just ate. Like, I feel like our body doesn't even need to do anything to digest what we just ate. That sounds really gross, but you know what I mean, right? Like, barely chewed, so it's like, it's just dissolved now. I think I already burned off the calories from eating it. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but yeah. So we um, just started a Korean drama. Um, how many days ago? Like two, it, three days ago. Oh, it's three days ago because we've been watching two episodes a day. So it, today, yeah. Uh, it's called Itaewon Class. And uh, Itaewon is in Korea. Yeah. yeah. Am I not saying Itaewon really? No, you are, but... Itaewon. Okay. okay. So, like, it's making me really want to go to Korea. One. Oh, Anytime yeah. I watch Korean drama and there's um, scenes of food, nightlife, fun, drinking, hot Korean guys... I want to go. So I hope that uh, at some point we Hi, do out. What we do right now, we bring out the chummy. I'm a hot Korean guy. We drink and we have fun. And you know, I, what makes this house any different from the scenes you see in Itaewon class? <laughs> you got a point there. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to be like, oh, you're, you're not no Pak So Jun. No, you're a Mark Lee. <laughs> it's weird. I've really, during uh, quarantine, I've tried my best not to get sucked into any TV shows, and I think I've done a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until these last three days where I felt like I started binging something. Because me, I get very emotionally invested in what I watch. So I'm talking about something that's happening in the show and thinking that's going to happen in real life. Like that we're going to be bar hopping or pub hopping in Itaewon tomorrow because it's so like vivid and now I want it to be real. Yeah, and so. and James like he really like researches a lot online. But I feel like the research is not more about like, oh, I want to know more about Itaewon Korea, but it's like, oh, I want to see some pictures of Pak Sojin. Like <laughs> So this one, I feel like you think I'm researching. It's just I'm knowledgeable about it without researching. Because you're jealous. You're jealous. Your no. shit might as well be green. What do we do from here? I just feel like there's no way. Like, we've hit the apex of whatever high we're going to feel for the evening. Actually, I, kinda, I, I have a couple ideas on how we can continue this trajectory. Watching ETA one class? No, I had other ideas in mind. What? I can't say it out loud. Say it out loud. I, I'm a gentleman. You need to communicate. You need to communicate. E O M M U N I C A T E. You just look like a big slab of A5 Wagyu meat just right now. Are you calling me fatty? No. I'm calling That's you an delicious. Insult. Why are you so sensy lately? I don't understand. Are you sensy? 
Because the number on the scale keeps going up. <gasps> and you bought another scale. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I saw it downstairs. I was like, girl, why well, are you buying this? No, because the new scale actually also sends electric waves through your body. I don't sound safe. To measure your water content, your body mass, your bone density. Oh, I really have a theory that I'm big boned. I know that, <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Big what? Big boned. Okay, just just wanting to make sure you said the right word. Yeah, what are you <laughs> talking about? Will it measure that too? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I feel like scales need to be a little bit more like, you know the number, it's very objective. I want some kind of other qualitative like measurement like, Oh, it's okay. You, it's because you ate this. Like, I want it to say something too. But because it's are you a not number, afraid what it's gonna say to us? I mean, I feel like there might be a part of it that's a little entertaining. Like, girl, you shouldn't have eaten that. Like, I don't know. That, that kind of sounds like that. That kind of makes the experience of like weighing yourself a little bit more fun. But I guess it could okay. Be scary. So hold that thought, patent it, and make it happen. That idea is embodies all about who you are as a person mm -hmm. you get sassy you get mean like yeah what about positive am i not a positive person i think out of the two of us i'm like 51 percent more like positive you're 49 percent really yeah do you want to do you so want to go down this that road? is so weird you think you're more positive than i am that's, so, I, that's shocking that's also um, lack of self-awareness too. <laughs> no, it's not self-awareness. It's, it's fine. It'll be a lack of self-awareness of other people then. What does that mean? Lack of self -awareness of other I want to say they would say that I'm positive. Compared to me. Just, I'm just a very positive person. So if they're wrong, then they need self-awareness about how they view me. Yeah, they're messed up too. Everyone in the world? I'm just saying, I feel like, I, can, I mean, I can think of clear examples where I feel like sometimes when you get, I don't want to get into, I don't want to ruin this meal. Should I just stop? I'm getting, I'm getting a cue. I have no idea what you're I'm going I'm just saying like this. when you get flustered about something, I feel like you let that overtake how you feel about things more than I do. Like earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I, I almost even said something, but I was like, mm, that's not going to end well because you're not going to want to hear it. No, it's because I'm doing all the stuff yeah. and then I see you like, yes, you're promoting the video by being on Instagram or whatever, but uh, something fell out of the cover mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, can you help get this? Yeah. And you're like, okay. And then you did it. <laughs> well, because I was really far doing what I was doing and I feel like... I could say the same thing, but I choose not to vocalize. I don't put it out in the universe and cause this aura. Okay, the... <laughs> this is not ending well, so we could just end this. True you would have said something and we would have gone to a fight, but I think maybe you kind of thought about... I thought, I the, thought about what would happen if I reason. kept going, and I was just like, oh, he's just stressed because he is taking care of a lot of the components of putting this together. And I too was taking a lot of components, but maybe it's not the same level of stress. Whatever you could do, I could do better. <laughs> like from me? No, there is no way I could have produced what this was about. It's okay, we're gonna edit this all out anyways. That's okay. I'm just saying, like that's that's why I said what I just said about the 50, 51 and 49 is not even that far off. No, it I'm allowed to be frustrated and in the in the in the moment right? you are but definitely that, but that does not make you 51 percent it does positive because... over me because i do it every single time not just that's one example you think of but i do that to you in our normal lives 99 percent of the time so you can't just take one example of what you did just 20 minutes ago and suddenly you get the majority of positive like being positive that doesn't make sense at all you have to think about the I think, collective whole yeah collective whole i believe this is i i'm saying i okay i believe you allow your <laughs> frustration to get the best of you more than me therefore i am making the conclusion that i generally am more positive than you are <laughs> like i'm not allowed to say that and it's beyond just what example i just shared right now for instance another reason again 
maybe this is this is my, my own self awareness. It's because you're taking on tasks that I don't take on tasks. So naturally, you're going to get frustrated more. For instance, you drive a lot more, but your road rage is a lot more. And I wouldn't even call it road rage. Road frustration. You have a higher like a lower threshold of being frustrated when you drive. But naturally that would occur because you drive more. And when we go out together, you are driving. So I'm able to see that. But I think even when you're not around and something happens, I'm more uh, like I just brush it off. No, I don't that, honk. I don't say anything. No, you call me on the phone when you're driving back from like work. Oh, this another like cr white curl is always Corollas like and you like like get so mad because they didn't turn left when they could have turned left and they were just waiting like you're this so angry like, too this sounds like a fabricated story no it's so I, true I why was i so specific with the corollas that you were that were getting i thought they were priuses uh, so i think you let the frustration mole a little bit a little bit longer than me but now I'm not sure because you're looking at me like I'm a crazy person. And this is what a healthy marriage is about, is having these open dialogues, feeling vulnerable and not feeling like you are not psychologically safe with your partner. I'm just letting you talk because all these character ass assassination you're doing does not make you look like you're a positive person. <laughs> so you are just to everyone who's watching. They're probably thinking, oh, you know, he's actually like not positive, but he's claiming to be positive. That, I mean, that I feel like you just won your case <laughs> in court. Well, oh, what's my sentence? <laughs> not the dishes. You need to do the dishes and get frustrated doing the dishes. Well, because I get frustrated either way, even if I do the dishes or you do the dishes. See, that's what I'm saying. There's, it's always lose lose with you, is what no, I'm saying. Then, just then do, do the it dishes. right. Yeah. No, I do it. You just need to learn how to let, you need to, I think it's just even knowing how to pull back just a little bit and be like, oh, it's okay. That, that dish might be a little crooked, but it's still gonna get washed. It's in the dishwasher. It's not blocking something very critical. No, I am just We're asking you to meet me halfway. Why, why do I always have to pull back all the time? Oh girl, you don't pull back. <laughs> you stick your ground. You're very, I feel like no, you- No, you're telling me to pull back. I know because you never do. You're very grounded in your belief system and you don't back down. I think it's innate in your, you're just very, uh, you, 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 you hold true to you, what you value. And that's not a bad thing all the time, but because you, you're so tied to that, it's hard for me to have a breakthrough and say, hey, maybe, maybe you should think about it from this perspective, which you do do all the time. Too. I do all the time, but there are some things that there is no other perspective. It's either you have a clean dish or you don't have a clean dish. So like, there, I don't know what other like perspective I could analyze the situation to come with a different assessment. Well, and so outcome. you're you're uh, you're very result oriented, but um, <laughs> you're result oriented. But what about what about the the action that maybe I put towards Is making- Is there like a truth serum in here? Like what? <laughs> what? Why do I, I feel like I'm being evaluated You're not right being now. evaluated. It's Give okay. me some vibe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make, it, make it better for me. I, this is one of those things, I forgot where we were one time, but we were out at a restaurant and like, it got to this point where it's like, we had a bottle of wine and we just had really good conversation. And it wasn't always like hunky dory stuff. It was also just like, like no, it was about society. Yeah. It was about li like life, but not about like, oh, I'm more positive than you. Oh, I dropped that, but see, you keep dwelling on it right now. No, that's I the whole premise. Stopped. That's the whole I, premise. I, of I, it. I was I was doing a segue into something positive, and you threw us back into the ring. No, and I was already done with this fight. Let's rewatch this video, and say and s just notice how I'm like. Baby, like, I feel so lucky and blessed that I get to enjoy this kind of exquisite meal with you. I mean, that's how I was in the video and suddenly it was like, I'm more positive than you. So I'm like, so like, hey, just stop. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're okay. You're right. I think it stemmed from what just happened here. So it's easy. I'm very short-sighted sometimes. Which is why in that other video, I said if I could have any power, it'd be to take back stupid stuff I say versus hearing other people's conversations. But I, yeah, I mean, if 
if something just happened, then it's top of mind, and then I just think that as truth, and then there it is. But you always find a way to. Yeah, weasel. You can't. That's I, other, I didn't that's, say it. You did. That, that's if a we were common, playing charades. This is not how I would do weasel. Okay. Yeah, weasels move like this. Oh, I don't. I don't know anything about weasels besides the one I'm married to. They're cute. <laughs> what have you learned about yourself doing these mukbangs? That's a good question. Because I want to know what you've learned and what I've learned. It could be about yourself, it could be about each other, it could be about the experience. I just want to know. Like, have you learned about anything? Because it's not, I wouldn't say it's ordinary for people to, like, do this and then watch themselves back. So, like, what do you notice about yourself after doing this for, what, three years or four years now? Um, I'm trying to live my Connie Chung fantasy right now. I think for me, um, I try to find the benefits and the positive experiences of doing mukbang. Really, I do. That helps motivate and inspire me to keep going at it. Because um, like in the, and I, I've told you, and I've probably said this in multiple videos in the past. They didn't watch those. <laughs> it's just uh, filming in the past was never a priority to me. Right? Yeah. It was not something that I want. I wanted to do good at it. I wanted, sure, I'll help prep and plate things, you know? But it was never a priority. But then I then said, you know, because it, you love it and I also got to enjoy it too, that uh, if I'm going to do it, then I'm going to just really be committed to it and just try to get the most fun out of it. So that's been my uh, evolution. Yeah. How about you? Um, I think it's kind of another way of what you just said, but I feel like um, having done the channel without Mark and seeing how much more we're able to do once we work together and we contribute what our individual talents are to mm. the videos, you could tell the difference, right? So even for today, at some point we probably would have eaten A5 Wagyu steak, but having you guys here and having that motivation to want to try something different and try something new and, and share, share it, it. Yeah, share it. Yeah. Makes us want, like makes us motivated to like yeah, do that. Yeah, because so. we get some comments saying like, Oh, that looks good. Or I want to try that too. Or I found Chummy and they tag us on Instagram. It's like, that's a, that's a kind of cool feeling that we're not influencers by all means, but at least we are sharing what we like yeah. with you all. And you get to experience that with us. Me, what's more important about me being able to tell my truth about you is I appreciate that you, I rather you be you. It doesn't matter how I feel about it. I much prefer you being able to be who you are, regardless how I feel good or bad about it. Um, I have to say that's one of the reasons why I love being with you is because even when I am not easy to get along with or I'm not my best version of myself, you are still there. So sometimes uh, I, I, I want to make sure you understand that that is are you, important to me. Oh, are you getting a little emotional? Well, it, it makes me sad because I don't want you to feel bad about... I, I don't want you to feel like I'm taking advantage of the situation. Oh, no, no. And it could, it could feel that way if... I, I'm not saying it's constant or it's an issue or this is why our marriage is on the rocks. There's nothing like that. It's just I want to make sure you understand that I appreciate that and okay the, the the battery's saying we gotta go so we're gonna do the word of the day really quick i was about to get all deep and whatnot <laughs> but it's like the universe is saying not right now girl <laughs> so word of the day hurry deep 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 let us know if you guys watch up to this part use deep in your comments down below make sure you guys subscribe comment like we love you guys and we'll see you in our next and video and we will charge our battery next time we promise Bye.